Okay, here we go. So let's see. I think now this could be a fake out in either direction. So let's watch this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and uh, let's watch what's going on. Uh, Tesla opening down and uh, our very bearish candidates are Capital One, Win, Amazon. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to wait for the whole bar. So the algo also looks at things that happens after a five minute bar closes. OK, so the closing bar is very important. I mean, the closing price is very important and whether it closes above the previous bar, whether it closes above the short term uh, exponential average or the, you know, simple moving average, whatever it is, uh, the, the algo looks at the closing price very, uh, you know, uh, very keenly. So uh, that is one uh, element of the algo that I, I forgot to mention yesterday. Uh, so the closing price is important. That's why I keep saying, you know, we will wait for this bar to close because the closing price is very important. Uh, let's see. Google is neutral. What about our other candidates? Amazon is still not showing. Uh, Amazon is not showing as very bearish. Um, in fact, yeah, no, Amazon is very bearish now. OK, Amazon is very bearish. So I'm going to take off Tesla. I'm going to just look at Amazon for a little bit and see uh, see, see what it does, because uh, that could be a, a trade for today as well. OK, so let's look at the Amazon chart also. OK, so now the S&P is going down, but I'm still going to wait for a bar at least. So, you know, let's give it another minute or so and uh, look at the price action and then go from there. OK, first bar has ended and um, the ES is bearish, which it should be. However, you can see the SPX now uh, moving down a little. So we might uh, we might have a trade on Amazon right here. Let's go take a look at Amazon. If the SPX is going to go down and Amazon is pushing up, we might get a better put price. Uh, so I'm going to close this part of it and let's just focus on our and uh, now you can see the S&P is taking a beating down. Now, you know what? I'm going to take Amazon because uh, this thing, uh, it uh, it cannot uh, it cannot fight the S&P that much. So it's a one, uh, you know, it's, it's a one one contract position. So and uh, especially if the S&P is going to be weak, then uh, I think it will come down. Yeah. So it is it is coming down. Yeah. Let me just get the order in. OK, 18.15. We are in. I'm going to take this off and let's just watch. Yeah, it's going down now. And uh, yeah, we do have a little profit there. So uh, investment into this trade is about uh, $1,800 at this point. Let me just take a quick peek where we are. It's about $85 up. OK, I would expect that the ES should would go into uh, very bearish if this kind of a trend continues for a bar or two. MACDs are decreasing to the downside. So that that is something that goes into the algorithm as well. ES has moved into very bearish. That is also a uh, good sign for the trade. But once again, I think we uh, Amazon is not totally correlating to uh, the S&P. If you can see the S&P, the three bars are these three and it's a clear downtrend, whereas Amazon uh, seems to be actually going the other way. That's something to keep a keep a note of because you don't know how these stocks correlate on any particular day. And so you want to just keep one eye out on that. And what that means is just, you know, when you have a decent profit, just just take it off because and in this case, we cannot uh, partially exit because we have only one contract. I want to see where we are on the position. We are up 257, 310, 355. So the S&P wants to move higher and let me just see the profit we have. It's 400 bucks. I'm going to take it off because Amazon is not totally correlating with the S&P. So if we can get 22.10 on this. OK, I'm going to change it. 21.6 is fine. $350. OK, 21.65. OK, so we did the Amazon. That's about 350. So somebody says here Google seems to be bearish. Let's take a look. Yeah, Google is definitely bearish. Uh, and uh, but once again, and Google is correlating well, which is the good part. And uh, so we'll just uh, I'll just pause the video here. Keep the screen on this and uh, let's watch Google because Google is correlating well with. OK, so Google is presenting. It's at 15. It's down 15. Let's take a look at Google options. 1060 put. OK, so 1060 put is almost at the money. It's going for about eight, nine dollars. The 1070 put. And it's at 1063. So out of the nine, eight, nine dollars, seven dollars is in the money. OK, so your time decay is going to be very less. 
so instead of the 1060 I'll take the 1070 put and just one contract is enough uh, why is ES still neutral? It climbed up eight points. Well, you know, it, it, nothing is going to change in one bar like that. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't because it's, there are algorithm, the algorithm looks not just at the immediate trend. Uh, it looks, it goes back, like I said, uh, quite, a, uh, quite a bit of bars. So it calculates a, a slightly longer term moving average, um, intermediate term and a short term. Yes, the short term is looking good and that's why it's neutral. Uh, you know, otherwise, if you just look at this this price action coming in from the open, this would be uh, this would be very bearish. So it it makes sense that the ES would move to neutral uh, after this two or three bar move. But that's that's more of an intermediate thing. It can go from uh, neutral if, if it just goes down at two three points, it can go back to very bearish because it's not a uh, transition is still happening. In, if indeed the market is going to turn around and go up, it needs a few more bars like this before it can go into uh, into bullish or very bullish but uh, i don't see that as the case now google is showing some weakness so let's go i want to see um, so mid price is 930 uh, uh, 930 on this so let's see mid price is 930 i'm going to go in for google uh, one contract so yes we are in on google so i'm going to close up amazon here and just look at google here so as you can see now google has stopped correlating with the smp to some extent Google showing some weakness, but S&P is showing signs of uh, uh, you know recovering a little bit. It m might work in our favor, but at some point Google will turn around and uh, start to go up because the S&P is looking strong. So this trade was what about uh, nine hundred and ninety dollars. So because it's not correlating, I would say even a twenty percent would be good. Let's see um, what do we have on Google. It's only 52, so let's wait and see. Uh, you know, it, uh, it we could get our profit to target here. S&P is definitely punching higher. I see Alphabet board is being sued on sexual allegations. Okay, so there is a negativity on the stock. That would make sense. That would make sense. Thanks, I. Okay, coming down to the 1061 on uh, Google. Let's see our position. Uh, it's up a hundred bucks. Okay. So let's continue to watch it. If we can get uh, another, if, if we can grab another 100, 150, we can uh, exit this position. Okay, let's see what we have. Took a move down. 134. Not too bad, but would like a little bit more. Let's see how much we have. 160. Not too bad. And uh, trade price mark is 10.99, 169. Okay. I think I've had enough of this trade. Uh, let's see, 1090 is the mid price. Let's get it, and uh, let's let's see. There we go, 1090. We are done. 160 bucks on Google, 350 bucks on Amazon. We are up about uh, 510 for the day. So, if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this Bitly link. It's Bitly uh, slash day hyphen signals. Now, the day and the uh, the D and the S has to be capitals. And once you go there, you can get a free trial. You can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial. And uh, at the end of one week, if you don't want to continue, you can just send us an email at info at optiontiger.com and we'll give you a full refund. So once again, the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals with the DNS in caps. Thank you.